Hi, my name is Eric Dunans, and I'm the Alumni Program and Outreach Coordinator for University of Minnesota Extension Center for Community Vitality. Um, I'd like to welcome everybody to Peter Campion, an Extension Educator that we have with us today. Peter, would you like to just say a few words about yourself? Hi, I'm Peter Campion. I am a Leadership and Civic Engagement Educator um, in West Central Minnesota, officed in Moorhead. And Peter, just share with us, uh, what are some of the leadership programs that you're working with? I currently work with, um, with MARL and Minnesota Agent Rural Leadership, um, West Central Leadership Academy, and um, anything else that kind of pops up in West Central Minnesota at this time. So Peter, you mentioned the Minnesota Agricultural and Rural Leaders Program that you're involved with. Can you share a little bit more about that program, its origins, and what it's trying to do? Uh, MARL is a, a dynamic leadership development program um, designed to work and engage with, with active adults around the uh, constructs of agriculture and leadership. Uh, we want to develop skills, um, and obviously in the, in the context of agriculture, um, so that they can maximize their impacts and effectiveness um, locally on the state level, national and international level. So it's cool that you mentioned the international context mm -hmm. because I know that as part of a cohort or as part of this program, you all just had an opportunity to visit Ecuador and do learning tour or a number of learning tours there. Mm -hmm. Would you we like did. to tell me more about that? Sure. Um, our our tours included uh, a, a vast array of anything related to agriculture, mm -hmm. um, including some of the smaller uh, farms um, and plantations, specifically uh, banana plantations were one of the, the, the bigger scale um, operations we were able to see, um, a palm oil distillery, uh, along with um, a, an immense uh, shrimp um, a shrimp farm, which is something that was kind of out of the context of a lot of the participants and myself. On top of, uh, we were there during the time of, of elections, campaigning, and finally election day. And so you mentioned that there are a number of visits to these different kinds of farms, and you also had a chance to see even politically how their process works a bit versus the way that things work in the U.S. And I'm curious, why... What are the benefits of that for a leadership program? Why would you do a trip like this for oh, years in Minnesota? Yes. Um, I think the, the, the biggest pieces were, um, were around changing the worldview of the participants to help them understand um, how different cultures interact around agriculture, around leadership, around um, political processes, and um, to possibly change their lenses when they return to uh, rural Minnesota and um, have interactions with, with, with people of their culture, of other cultures, and um, to break down barriers and create bridges um, when they're interacting as leaders. That sounds really fantastic. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you mentioned is um, having that ability to learn to change their lens a little bit or look at things differently. Mm -hmm. Why is that mm -hmm. so important for leaders? I, I think as a leader, you need to be able to build bridges, and you need to be able to to, to make connections. And without having understanding of, of how our neighbor, be it um, in a different county from a different ethnicity, or our neighbor from South America, be it the Ecuadorian culture, um, work, you, you, you have a harder time um, having the connections, and you have a harder time creating the bridges. Yeah, and I think, too, as we know that um, Minnesota is rapidly diversifying itself, that having these competencies and having these understands and having an understanding of how to work with these different groups is going to be a key piece of how we keep Minnesota a vital place, a welcoming place that is really leveraging the strengths of uh, all the people that are living here. I would agree. I certainly agree. Well, Peter, thanks for being willing to join with us for a little mm -hmm. bit of a look today. Obviously, the trip that you had to Ecuador was probably much more than that, and uh, I appreciate you being willing to focus in for this little video. Yeah, and, uh, for sure. Thank, thank you. Thanks for having me, Eric.